so welcome to another Fall Guys game analysis video. And uh, hopefully you guys learned something here to uh, I can use to get more crowns in game or just get further in your games in general. And let's get into it then. So, we're starting off with Hit Parade, which I don't believe I have covered yet. And uh, there are some tips I can uh, give you. Uh, also, I'm playing with generic gamer. I don't have a uh, angle on him at the uh, at start of the countdown, so there will be one next round, though. <laughs> don't worry, you'll get one. So yeah, you want some down there. Uh, sometimes you go ranked, though it's absolutely random, but it's faster to go down. I recommend not trying to go for the middle uh, uh, spinning. Uh, part there because uh, people on the other side are probably going to be pushing on it so it's a lot easier to just not and uh, try to time this section well because yeah first place can easily be taken from you if you don't uh, time that right and also a tip for anybody who just decides to stop walking keep walking <laughs> because a lot I mean I fell behind there mainly because this guy is stopped walking right in front of me. <laughs> but yeah, just stop if uh stop if there's a uh one of the beams are near you because it's faster to stop instead of walk into it and go ragdoll. Anyway, we got roll on. Roll on I just have like no tips for, so I'll give you something though. I'm sore. <laughs> so yeah. There he is. It's an Eric Gamer. I don't know who he is, by the way. Don't worry, I don't know who he is. <laughs> so basically, just like do the same thing as uh, roll out, except with like triple the amount of players. <laughs> so, yeah, try to go as fast as possible. I don't recommend jumping too often unless you have to, or it won't really affect anything. Uh, you can jump a little bit. It doesn't really give you much of a speed boost, but I believe it does. And you know, also don't do something that I don't do, which is look forward. Or at least in this clip, look at what's coming next, and if there's actually a platform there. So that's very useful to use your eyes. I recommend doing that. Uh. This section, it's like the fruit suit, don't constantly jump or anything. And while you're going down on one of those platforms there, you can jump to get a little bit of a speed boost. So finally I get to cover the slime scraper, which I've been wanting to cover for a while now, because the amount of this complexity to it, and this, uh, there's a lot of things <laughs> that you can do in this. And, uh, yeah, so, at start here, a lot of people uh, jump on the first flipper, which I just don't do. I always jump on this one, and, uh, apparently nobody in this lobby knows to do that, though. Just try to time those platforms where if you stick to the left edge of where that swinging beam is, you will not get hit by it. And, uh, you can dive uh, there. I recommend, if there are a lot of people on the, tr uh, uh, conveyors. I recommend jumping over the part where there is more conveyors because people can grab you and make you fall. And what I do is I jump on the bl uh, blade or you know spinning part there to get uh, to the next level. Can be uh, difficult. You can dive under the swinging uh, rods if you time it right. I just get unlucky here. I recommend taking this flipper right here. It's pretty good. <laughs> and it's pretty rare to get hit all the way through like that, but it's possible. And it's try to time that right. Getting hit by these flippers is not a bad idea, but you can also get hit by the little uh, uh, bounty objects. And we get lost tempo again. And I have already done this, but uh, it's different every time, so... There's a lot of different scenarios that can pop up throughout the Lost Temple game mode or round. Um, there's a lot of different routes 
of course, but there's a lot of um, techniques to figure out what is the correct door. A lot of the time, I find find that the north door is always correct towards the crown room is north. If you do not know, a most of the time it's north on these edge rooms, especially if you're uh, coming in from the center to the edge room. It's always north at that point. And this is a rare scenario. Sometimes, like every blue moon, uh, it's uh, it's backwards, which is weird. And somehow I go over and fall. And you can get hit by these uh, these bouncy objects here. Get a boost and uh, water. And uh, what is he doing? Why is he doing? And most importantly, what what the dog doing? What the dog doing? Like honestly, saying is jump up here, and you can dive on that too. Get a little bit of speed boost. Uh, but that's it for this video. Hopefully you learned something, and hopefully you find out what the dog is doing. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and comment. And uh, bye. See you next time.